everybody! Welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the Only Pie 314, and we are continuing with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advance, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so when we last left Mario and Luigi, we just got out of that boss fight with the Queen Bean, who is lying on the floor, heaving, dying, and we have to go save her by getting the Chocola Reserve in Chateau de Chucklehuck. So before we go on our adventure, I'll show you some things in the castle. You can actually go back down to the sewers in case you've missed anything. I think I might have mentioned that you couldn't go back down there, so that was a mistake on my part. And there's only this one Bean uh, Brothers block here that we can get from the castle. Everything else is closed off. So we'll go ahead and steal the castle's money here. Because we will need some in a bit. The equipment shop is now open, so we'll be checking that out here quite shortly. Let's get out of here. Mario! Luigi! Lady Lima has asked that you also take this along with you. You got a bean badge. And a tutorial. The thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be a little stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects, so for now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select to open your suitcase. To equip badges, select this icon. Here you can see the gear and the badge that you're equipped with. Okay Mario, time to equip the badge I just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you have are shown. Normally you pick a badge. It's simple this time since you only have one right now. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Now you're all set. Good luck, and be careful. Oh, uh, sorry Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you have to go buy one at the store. Everyone always leaves Luigi out, and nobody cares about him. Let's go check out the equipment shop really quick here. The only ones who still worry about fashion despite the town's crisis are real celebrities. I have to set prices that won't discredit this place as a high-class boutique. So what do you want to do? I'll buy a few items here. You have hot flash, fashions, and flashy badges to buy. Um, so what I find the best for the brothers is the blue jeans for Luigi. And the bean trousers for Mario, just because they upgrades both HP and defense. And for badges, I usually buy the P badge for Luigi since it ups both his brother's points and his defense or in his power rather so that's all we need from this store here going shopping in the midst of a major crisis like this you're so wonderful so uh, what do you want to do and also just as a note that your stash points will take into effect of how much you can sell items to for example if I sold the work pads I normally would sell them for 10 coins but our stash points are a little bit higher than that so we can sell them for 14 coins instead if you like selling stuff, then you should really try buying something. Shopping rules! Alright, let's get out of here. I won't be charging you to look, not that there's much to see. Alright. The item shop is still open too, so you can buy a few things if you want before you go to Chateau de Chucklehuck. I'd recommend you buy a few refreshing herbs, since a few of the enemies there will poison you in battle. So that's always a nice thing to have, just to have the antidote with you. One of the nice things about this game is that the uh, status effects will wear off after battle. So you don't really have to worry about it too much unless you're going into a longer battle. And also you can spin jump over there for another bean spawn, which we'll get back to later in the game. So we are going to Chateau de Chucklehuck. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chakola Reserve or Chakohak Wook Ecology. Oh, the Bean Bean Brouch. That marks a special guest of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then. We shall permit you to enter these woods. Awesome. We hope you will enjoy the taste of an incredibly full favorite Chakola Cola while you're here. Ah, uh, the blatant ripoff of Coca-Cola. 
And those are the parabenes I mentioned in one video that are one of the newer enemies in this area. They're not that much different from the regular beanies other than the fact that you can see that they're flying. And the only difference is you can't hammer them in the air, so you just need to jump on them and they get defeated pretty quickly. Other than that, there's nothing interesting else to show off here, so we'll just keep on going. To our destination. Brewing Chocola Cola, step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which is only grows in Chocolhuck Woods. Okay. Brewing Chocola Cola, step two. Place one Chocola fruit in the barrel that has been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Brewing Chocola Cola, step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Um. Brewing Chocola Cola, step four. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner bubbles. I wonder if this is how Coca Cola is made. So this is a maze that reminds me of the maze, the barrel maze that's in Super Mario RPG, where you're in the pirate ship and you have to find different clues to solve the puzzle of the pirate ship. You have to collect keywords if anybody remembers that or if anyone has played that game will know what I'm talking about. This one I find is a little bit easier since um, it's not in 3D and it's a little bit easier to navigate around and see where you're going. So this might take me a little bit to get around, so I apologize. I think we're almost at the end here. Yep, there we go. What? Who's that guy? That was weird. Oh, boo! Blessed! Cremony! This famous shadow thief popple has been caught in full sight! Cripes, you think you're ready, do ya? Well, no one's more ready than me, see? I'll show ya! Rookie! Rookie! Shake a leg! Yes, boss! Oh, he looks a little familiar. Okay, Rookie, it's your turn, see? I want you to squash red and green drips there. Yes, boss. Red and green. I feel like I know these two some from somewhere. Weird. What? Rookie, are you saying that you're acquainted with these two palugas? Yeah, something about them feels real familiar and it makes me real mad. Quit your babbling, you. You two ugly mugs came here for the same reason as us. You want the fabled Chocola Reserve. Boo. Boo, I say. You really think you can beat me to the punch? Well, open these ears, punks. I, Popple Shadowfeed, filter of the world's riches, bet you that we can get the Chocola Reserve first. Rookie, go to it. Alright, so we have another boss battle here. And if you let him come at you, he'll just steal a mushroom from you. Which is no big deal. So you want to focus on Popple first, because if you focus on Rookie... He'll just run away from battle, so in order to get more experience, just get him first. But be careful, he will attack you. How dare you guys mess with the Great Popple? Oh. You just have to watch the shadows of his attack. Other than that, it's pretty simple. And just have good timing with your hammer counters. Like, not like that. <laughs> so this is the first game of the Mario and Luigi series. There are three games in total. The last one just came out here recently. Um, the second one is called Mary and Luigi Partners in Time, and that is for the Nintendo DS, and the third one is Mary and Luigi's Bowser Inside Story. 
and I haven't decided if I'm going to be doing those quite yet. I really want to, but I just have no idea if I can because I'm not sure if the emulator will work with my laptop or not. So I'm hoping I can bring that into the future because those games are pretty awesome too. I haven't played the third one yet. I really, really want to play it though. So hopefully I can buy that soon. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Whoa, that was spicy. Alright. So guys, I will be finishing up- oh, and he's done. So on that note, I am out of time, so I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching this part, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next. See ya!